So this is the second part of the Anson Robot vacuum setup. I'm going to show you how I downloaded the Tuya smart app. I have I am using my Samsung Galaxy S23 right now. I will show you the iPhone download on the following video, but for this one so all you need to do is you go to the Play Store on your Samsung Galaxy and find that app. If you can't find it, you see in the manual, you are able to just scan. So this is, this is me trying to find the app. So I couldn't find it for some reason or I might have just done it incorrectly so i had i typed to t-u-y-a smart and it wasn't coming up so it took me a little bit so this is the correct process you're gonna go click your photo your camera and then you will get the link from when you use your camera and click on it and then just install with the Samsung Galaxy it's actually fast installing it it actually just it depends on your Wi-Fi connection of course but it, it downloaded fast and then see as soon as it's done you can open it and there it is so there's three ways you can sign up you can log in or you can um, operate as operate it as a guest so right now I'm gonna show you just operating it as a guest so that's the two years mark app first is you would have to agree there's terms and conditions you have to agree and then take note that i haven't turned on my vacuum my robot vacuum yet so right now it's asking the app will ask you if are you allowing um to add it to add a device so see that that's not on yet so it's just giving you instructions and you're going to follow the prompt. And then you're going to click add a device and then see you have that option. You have to just check, hit next, and then it's going to tell you where the device is. Uh, it's going to ask you to allow while you're opening, you know, where, while you're operating the device. And basically, the T the Two Year Smart app can control a lot of uh, devices at home, smart devices at home, th through your Wi Fi. So as long as you share Wi Fi, you're able to. So basically, right now, we're trying to connect the phone to use as a remote. My Samsung Galaxy S twenty three to use as a remote for the Onsen robot vacuum. So I just turned on the vacuum and the next step is to see I got click on the button there for the Wi-Fi and then well it's going to turn on so you have to turn it off because um, you're still trying to figure out your phone's operation so it starts running so you have to turn it off and then you can go back to your phone for the setup so it's there it's gonna ask it's gonna ask you to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi and then your Wi-Fi is automatically gonna be there and all you need to do is just um, of course input the correct password for your Wi-Fi after you put your Wi-Fi in you hit continue and notice remember I have turned on the vacuum so I want to show it to you so once it's going to say, uh, you know, trying to find a device. 
it's gonna take a little bit there it turned green and it found the device so they're not they're now both connected to the wi-fi so meaning we can control we can use my phone when i you can use your phone as your remote for the vacuum so i just turn it on so <laughs> i left the phone there so it starts moving so that's what it is you turn it on and then you can turn it off i'm gonna turn it off because i'm trying to show you what features are in the remote so in the remote it's gonna say that you are using your intelligent sweeping robot right which is the ronson on the top in the middle it says sleep you can make your your um robot vacuum sleep there's a cleaning time there and it's going to tell you the percentage of residual electricity and then the on button is in the middle and then you can actually click charge so it goes to its charging unit i'm going to show you that later on as well and there are different modes so you have spiral wall follow random partial bowel and um, manual so you can do manual and you can actually schedule to and uh, there's also a way for you to know to set up cleaning strength and water control when you're using the mop so now i was just if you saw that i was just showing you how um the vacuum works with the phone as i know Right now, the control on the phone is limited because I logged in as a guest. Guest, so we will we will try all the modes later, and when we log in as a with the with all the information, let's see what options we have. But we have, but right now, this is what your vacuum is doing. Yeah, as it goes to the wall, it starts to get, you know, try to, it tries to go back. And right now it's not doing a lot because I'm trying to control it. So this is the one to control manually. Um, the manual control, I'm still trying to get the hang of it because it stops. You know, you have to, it's, it's a little tedious. You have to keep, this is only if maybe there are areas that, you want to keep going back and you wanna, or you just want to tinker with the vacuum so you can use the manual otherwise right now i'm using this manual because the space i'm still clearing it up once it's clear then i will let it do the auto cleaning but i'm just showing you the quick way i mean it's not a quick way but if you feel like you want to use your phone as a controller as a remote you can but i feel that the regular remote control is better than using your smartphone or your iphone or your, your samsung galaxy I mean, this is just for now because i'm logged in as a guest i have limited uh controls but again these are just a quick view of what you will see when you are using the Tuya Smart app to control your electronic devices, your smart devices at home. Mm -hmm. Since the Anson Robot Vacuum is a smart device, then I'm trying the app and I'm showing it to you. So this is me logged in as a uh, using the app as a guest so again when you use the app as a guest you you have limited control so you have to register which i will show you as well but those are the modes there's different modes and um there's different modes to control you can just hit back uh just showing you the cleaning strength control as well and the water control if you're using the mop right now i'm using just a standard vacuuming see you can 
if you click on them you will see options on each but there's not much option on this app and again i feel like uh, being logged in as a guest i'm better off using the the regular remote control but of course you want to try to use the smartphone